Na'Vi will take middle. Bomb outside of the A-side. Kadian going for late mid info. He's committed to this one. He's fighting for his life and he'll get bit and get out of dodge. They're chasing. Kadian's running. Trying to hang around for a little bit more, but they split him from both sides. Oh. Kadian nails the shot. Oh. Three kills from the captain. That is so clean, and he's still got more to do. Kadian with three to his name already. Pushes up close. He's trying to get even more. Ooh. Fall after one, leaving this all on simple in the clutch. Yabby and Stown both in the connector. Whoa. And the bomb pulled. Simple is lucky to make it into the site. They didn't catch him crossing, and so now he's got a chance no in way. this one. Simple no. oh. makes it look too clean. That's unbelievable. Just the, the way he plays that as well. They chase him. He goes ring around the cake and he finds both headshots, isolates the jewels, breaks the server with that last one. On the smoke fade, Perfecto's going to look to move in and Shush just turns around. Now he's sandwiched. Yeah. They do well to isolate the main player. Uh Running low on time now, and RV and Heroic, they could stop oh. this. The plot just goes down. Perfecto with two, can't manage anymore. It's a damn good try in the 1v4 with a last second bomb plant coming in. Yeah, he's going to be feeling good about that as well. So sure, the pistol round didn't go their way, but the second he gets the opening with the Deagle there. So things are starting really hot here for Kadian. This is the opening pick into what's middle. Yeah, okay, that's a pre-fire right there. Definitely. Didn't get any indication that one was coming. And then Tessus, you see here, almost denying that plant going down to begin with, but still able to do enough here to get this one done. And that is a great way to draw things level 1-1. One, one. But Na'Vi, of course, they're going to force by back into this. And a couple more AKs into this round of play, even. Yeah, nice way to apply the pressure. Bit's got to keep looking behind now, but he nails the shot. They haven't cleared out Stown, so he's still a threat Ooh. in the back of the sight. And that double from Stown still might not be enough. You to hold. Big. Molly's gonna force the swing out of the backside player, wow. but a missed shot. And that looked like it was the staging platform for Heroic. That Molly gave them the fight they were expecting, gave them the fight they were looking for. A very hard shot, probably just information off of this pixel in dark. They make contact on A first before the B play comes in. That will be a kill oh. with a nade from Bit. Uh, nice response, but now Simple doesn't need to die. Kadian oh. hits a banger, a and bomb. a smoke at the doorway for Na'Vi is a problem. Alarm bells are going off, but it's just the scout in the sight. Oh. They might want to pressure this with that kill bye bye. from Simple. It's going to change the nature of the round. Yabby Suddenly it's a B late. play, and Yabby's going to miss this timing if he sneaks the whole way. Sails past Na'Vi, they cross into the site with two, and Kadian is beheaded. Yabby's back, stab! Oh. This had to be it, 9 HP, yeah. and he's swung immediately by Perfecto. Hey guys, make sure to check out Keydrop, and use my code VLADAPART to get 50 cents for free and 10% deposit bonus. Keydrop is a case opening website, so if you want to upgrade your inventory and feeling lucky, they have many different and convenient deposit methods like crypto, bank transfer, skins, and many other. As well as, they have a free gold feature where you can get free money for completing easy tasks like following them on Twitter. Here, as an example, I unboxed a vision case for $24 and managed to get this gut knife black laminate. I'm not a big fan of gut knives, so I decided to upgrade it to those driver gloves imperial plate. I also added a bit of my balance to have my chances over 50% and luckily the upgrade was successful. With drawing the skin is also super easy. Just go to your inventory, click on collect and you will receive the trade offer in about a minute. So guys, make sure to check out Keydrop and use my code Bloodapart. Link will be in the description below. You know, a little a little more main focused as opposed to the mid-split component, but there's no eyes on middle right now. Heroic conceded it entirely, and so Shush is getting pincered. They get run over by Na'Vi. And just enough time to plant here. That will have to be a save from Tessus and Stown. And Tessus, well, he's upgraded from the MAC-10 at least. But they run back dark into the B-bomb site, so there's no guarantees right now. Fakery from Na'Vi on this T-half. Some good exits from Stown, just trying to keep his gun going. Taking the orb here would be a big weapon for Heroic. Oh, now they've heard it. I'd yeah. Oh, he dies in the around the corner and pick that up. If Go you get it. Us here. They expect more men. They're Search. even pushing through main. This is the freedom from bringing that third B player back. And it's showing in this round. I'm sure they lose one more man. Oh, it's yeah. starting to fall apart though. A good start to the round. Can Yabby close it? He's gone. It's just down 1v2 through dark. 
Nade on the bomb, it's good, but it's not going to take any kills here. Flash to try and pick Perfecto out of the picture. Electronics tucked in, and he flicks back down now. No kit, takes oh. the fight, but Perfecto swings and wins. Na'Vi keep converting. I got to say, I love that one way for Electronic. Heroic got a main smoke in for B, but Electronic popped one just in front of Jail, and he climbs up on that brick. He can see everything. The temple rotate, back, plat, down, dark. He's got the whole map here, and Heroic probably can't even see a thing. Yeah, that was really nice. I, I enjoyed that a lot, right? That smoke actually gives an avenue for Electronic to go for that play. Without it, right, you'd be throwing a different uh, B main lurk smoke, right? It's so the effect of, you know, you say this all the time, Chad, like the CT's... He gets pounced on by Simple, and now the mid to B is opened wide up. Tess says we'll hear this, we'll get that forward warning. But there's a man in main, Simple, no holding the rotate back. out of the A connector. Looks to up and leave now, they, they might try time. going back, but Shush is right here. Shush could end the round, hiding in the smoke. Silent killer, Shush drops the bomb and steals this one from Na'Vi. There isn't time, and so heroic fine five. And so with already a kill through the smoke on A, they thought that site would be weak. They probably thought it'd be empty. But that's one of the things right there as well, because you don't have a lot of data. Sure, if you're coming into this map, I'm sure Blade said before, well, Shush is the anchor player. It's likely he's going to be the A player. But when you've got 14 seconds left, Still in this round, still in with a chance, but they need the goods to be offered up by one of these two back in main. Tess says, tagged up on the swing, down Ooh, court yeah. facing, Electronic with the opener. He's given them a reason to believe, but with the bomb getting away from Na'Vi with so little time left, he's going to do it all over again, and KD embests him in the head-to-head. -head. Heroic. And Bit was the man that got the opener in the round. He's the last one alive, saving in spawn here, so you can see just how they got... Yeah. Yeah, they blew the AWP away. Tess says, you yeah, cheeky drop. devil. You smart man. Now they run at him. Oh, the big brains make him an easier target. Yabby, <laughs> back in the site, trying to wrestle with the AK, but he can't hold on. And so this one has gone so wrong, so quickly for Heroic. It started with the captain falling. And then one by one, piece by piece, this round has fallen to just one man. And it's not going to happen. Not today. Yeah, he's just going to be a turret in mid. Kadian reposition ready for simple down this below. And he's going to set up for this long peak as well. Easy shot for Kadian. 20 seconds now and the bomb is lost. Yeah, no time, no chance, surely. Kadian just looking to send them packing. Wow. And so Heroic close out this first half at 8-7. And that's from being 6-1 down. Watch this, MPL. This. He's dead. Knife, Knife in out. hand. Free kill, free Absolutely B. free. Ooh, don't go too far though, boys, because now yeah. Perfecto's ready for the deep positions. Okay, they know about Shush. They know that he's a little deeper. How long do they scoping. spend clearing him? Or Kadian. Up close in the cave. Bulbaret is not his friend. Shush is overran. This one could get away from Heroic in spite of this huge opener. In spite of the empty B site. Yabby left it's fighting alone while Kadian's wrapped all the way yeah. through Temple. But the bomb is not planted it. for here. They don't have a kit in hand right now. So he's got 10 seconds to play with. Kadian moving in. They don't know where he is. They've got no idea, but he starts running. And that gives Perfecto that one extra second to turn around. I was talking about their sister Dayton Squeak. That's a reference that I'm not sure you two will get. But if anybody at home is as old as me and has seen the movie Basketball, maybe you will. Uh, but uh, I know Trace will. I'm sure he's not listening right now. Oh, he no, he listens. He goes up to his room and puts it on the big screen. Yeah, he does, actually. He oh, has yeah. it on the TV around the clock. Oh, hey, Trace. Oh, he enjoys the Counter-Strike Network, does he? Well, uh, with the plant... Oh, that little oh, jiggle. Huge. I can't believe Bit just Round snipes over. one. Yeah, it's down. And he kills, he gets, won't matter with the bomb already lost outside of B. This is a done deal. So Na'Vi sticking the landing in this first rifle on rifle round, getting out with a couple of AKs as well. It's a nice feeling. Pretty unorthodox approach from Heroic so far, right? I know we've only just seen one gun round, but that wasn't traditional either, right? The fact that they went for that type of a fake, it's like, well, you're in the site, sure, but we know teams... Beat the molly. You got Ron boosted in. He is sending it. Yami. Oh, the jump. That is awkward. They would have heard him up close, but now they know they're out anyway. Perfecto pick. Yami running them down. MPL can only take one with him. But the flank is fast for Electronic. And with low players on Heroic, the job is not done. Going through Temple to A is their best play, and they've realized it. Oh, I don't know about that. Look at Bit. He's crossing the mid bridge back on over. He's the A player, so they have to have a good idea that he's somewhere. And Tessus is just running knife out Oof. into bit, bomb down, and now it's just Yabby on 25 points of health. 
Ollie's the bomb as well. He thought they were already through. Maybe he thought he was a little late to the party. Did he hear steps? Yep, he's aware when there's one, there's often two, and he can't take him. Electronic with a triple kill keeps things right for Na'Vi with that fast mid flank. It's still a 3v4. The numbers still lie with Heroic, but Simple's been here since the site was taken. Oh, and when he yeah. hits a shot like that to open it up, what more can he do? A three on three. Simple has closed the gap on that man advantage. MPL's walked into the site, will give a kill over, and with Simple dead in the heavens, Perfecto tagged up, his best play is to save that AWP. Oh, after you hit that no scope, you just have to go for it. It was made, it was written for Na'Vi. They're but hunting this. Yeah, Heroic gonna send for the AWP, and Perfecto fights on forward. Dead. Oh, Shoulder. he realized, but it's too late. They were above him as well. He was a dead man no matter what. Eight out? No, he's back to the gun. Right time, right place, it's a shot. Simple tries to trade, but they're going to swing him together. Oh, he couldn't hit no. his side. He thought the rifle was coming first. It was just nades for Cadian to swing for a second. Split A, boys. They're not ready for that one, I'll tell you that. But Heroic have a man up, and they're going quick. Into the stack, though. MPO and Perfecto both still here. MPO deals with the first. Ooh, the fam nice. is doing work. Oh. But his teammates fall so quickly, so concisely, and with Bit on the other side of the map, it's a done deal. Mm. They just killed the mid defender and Simple, who's everywhere, and that leaves Bit stranded on his lonesome, and he showed leg in middle. So at this point, you think, well, A has to be empty, but Heroic went the stubborn route, went through B, and were able to trade on out there. If MPO gets the second, maybe, just maybe, that's a little bit of a different conversation to be had, but this whole half is shaping up. If anything, I think Na'Vi have been pretty restrained with, with how much they're pulling over towards A and mid right now. Bit mollied out into the open, and then these nades that made their way into main get lobbed behind Cake, bring Electronic down to three, oh. but they thought he should be a dead man. I think after you double nade that, you think it's empty. You think there's no chance a player is there, but three health, the difference for Electronic. And this one here, it seemed a bit odd with Stown going for that play, right? Just pushing on through the smoke on a timing, hoping to catch that dark position off guard. You know, just not even playing this one out, but sometimes that's how it feels. Oh, they even missed the flash into A. Like, this is ugly, man. Oh. Testes pulls a nade. His teammate is slaughtered, and they are cleaned up. It's, it's a flawless round out of RV. Five Beautiful. alive when all is said and done. How the hell do Heroic dig themselves out of this? I feel like it has to be A. What are you even going to do over towards B if you're not committing, right? If you're not pushing up through dark and taking this fight and sending Simple back, then you're in a lot of trouble. The Jiggles are there. Simple takes that one. He'll take it every day of the week. And now what do you get left? Oh. You're just limping. Oh. oh, lucky bugger. Dude, I mean, ironically, actually, feeding Electronic down in dark now might just lead to Stown getting caught on the rotate. Thankfully, he didn't actually commit to holding it. And so Stown's been allowed to pass by for free. No plan. Electronic can just rob the bomb plant. Here he is. Ooh. Yeah, to steal it away. And even though the trade is immediate, it's not enough. Na'Vi and their excellence on Anub is starting to shine through in these last few rounds. Now he knows they're probably not going to commit to mid on the back of it, so we've got three players over towards B. Stown will find one. Simple dead down in dark. Perfecto trying to hold on to the site, but he burns in the molly. Na'Vi, this one's up in the air. They're a man down looking at a retake. This was just pistols for Heroic, a desperate force by. Flashing through, Electronic tries to be a self-starter, but ends up getting shut down. It's left a bit. That egg on the face right there. If Kadian was over here and towards oh, CT no, he's gonna get it. No. Oh, oh my goodness. Why, why is Bit ready for that? I can't tell you, but... Simple's over in mid as well. The orb yeah, strikes, yeah. but here's Simple with the reply. Oh. Got close. They both missed that shot. And so they live to fight another day, no. but Cadian, he MPL. was about to go through that. MPL oh stared right at him. That flash stopped Cadian. They're coming for this, though. They're going to have a look towards heaven here. Uh, Heroic need to be really careful. This isn't a good setup. Yeah, they, they can't overplay their hand here, right? In the last few rounds, when it felt like victory was assured, they've been going hunting. Instead, oh, they dear. give MPL the double, and Stown's got to do it alone now. His oh. teammates feed the beast, and Na'Vi! Rise up in that retake! They take Heroic's ambition and they use it against them! Bomb should make it in, but Electronic and Perfecto are looking to delay. It's down.
Waiting in the smoke. Spam off from Electronic as he backs off. He actually saw the feet on the push through the smoke. KD and drop with the Dooley's at middle. And there's three of them remaining. Bomb plant, it's down. He got into the close angle. Electronic, ooh, ooh. stuttering his way through the fight. Eventually survives uh -oh. and it's just Shush. Not pretty. Not pretty at all. Shush demanded a one versus five. And he actually gets a couple of opportunities. Like he could have perhaps put a couple more bodies to rest, but it's pretty clean from Na'Vi. You see how comfortable it is? They're defusing while he's still alive. Spray from NPL brings Shush low, and that was the rifle. And the AK from Sound fills the feed. A good one on the Deeg puts us into a bit of an interesting post plant if they can get those digits punched. Smoke still up, plant safe, free smoke. Looking very promising for Heroic to take this second round. Better than a pistol. Oh, massively so. In terms of the util they've got left, it's that smoke and a singular flashbang left in reserve. Simple switch to the doolies as well. So the side arms looking to disarm the situation, Ooh. but Bit bites their head off in two. And Tessus now has a lot to do at the back. Throws out the flash, teetering on the edge. He knows that one man's coming in. <laughs> Yabby in the rear with the Deagle strikes, and they do bring it back. Yeah. One, one apiece. Yeah, beautiful stuff right there. And I'm asking myself throughout that retake, where's the kit? Where's the chance to actually win this round right here? Well, as soon as... Electronic, though, he could be the live wire to send a very frightening shock. He oh. turns, he ducks, he hits one. Struggles to connect onto the second though as Yabby puts him down. And this is still Whoa. such an awkward round. Simple on the walk in with the Deagle. What? Finish. Hold on, they're so low. And the bomb's still not planted. Bit could have perhaps slipped on into a one versus three that is attainable. That bomb, that will put Shush out of the round. He's the one that's full health with Tessus at four. He's not much of a bodyguard. This is winnable for Bit. Swings back around, Tessa spotted out. Shush known to be around that coffin side. Can't isolate the jewels. They're making it as difficult as they can. Going forward and Shush will close. High octane counter-strike and some credits to, to Tessa. He gets three there. He had a bit of a quiet one. Ooh. Ooh. That, that's not how that one's meant to go. No. Uh, <laughs> oh, hang on. How's this oh, gonna go? Oh. Still oh. with a spray down showdown. Man makes a massacre at middle. Bit with the timing as he got this one in the bag. His teammate will. NPL says bye bye to Yabby. And all of a sudden, it's just down left. Oh, that is a. I mean, look at the lineup. That is a perfect encapsulation of where the round went wrong for Heroic. After Stown jiggles out and eliminates that totem boost and with limited rifles, as you'd highlighted, Chad, you know, options were limited. It turns out sometimes simple can just do simple things. And he does make that one look easy. Right, uh, that's the that's the type of players that you're going to need from him to get yourself back into this half here. Now, conversations are being had at the moment on map, CT side or T side. Well, I'm the one flying the flag for the fact that at the moment, Inferno seems quite heavily, well, not heavily, 9-6, right? Or 8-7. Yeah. But well, back in my day, and I'd love to use that, uh, it was like 10-5. It was 11-4. Yeah. It was a CT side of map. And now to see it start to transition this way because the U-tool sets are so strong from teams. It can't be the same mistake from Bit as last time, but it won't be. Better. Hits the head, drops the flash as well, but will he still be standing? Yabby tried to hit the right hook. It's Shush that finishes him off, but is it too little too late? 25 seconds on the clock, a two versus three. It's not going to be easy. Simple on cold box could be the final blow to Heroic here to close that gap to a one round game. It's a common clear, could even wall bang it if they felt it. But now Shush meets his fate and it's clean from Na'Vi on the close. Bit delivered that time. Uh, a similar state of affairs. This is really bizarre. I mean, you've been able to creep your way round onto Arch side. Stown's found the frag onto the first man. Bit has to bite back, and you're still now walking up and on where Perfecto is oh. lying in wait to tear you to pieces. Annihilates them with the AK and leaves it down to just two with no real time. 20 seconds on the clock, and Perfecto, he's still waiting for more. What are they hoping for? A push and damage here? Like, you want to get Yavi off of this MAC 10 and pronto. If they don't die quick, they're going to feel what Kadian did. MPL with the double up, and that is going to be another round for Na'Vi now. And Simple's just doing what he's done again and again. Run down middle, turn it into an abattoir, farm up those frags and leave them looking lifeless. There is a bit of a flank, but I don't know if they'll even make it in time. Yabby with a tech hits one at top mid, grabs the AK, but MPL this says bye bye This is brutal. They're scrimming on him. It, oh my. What, what is the thing you don't want to do against pistols? Close the gap? Met by Simple. Good catch from NPL. He's continued to put up a good defense for Na'Vi. Now he has a whole team coming towards him.
And Piao hiding behind the box, waiting to pop off. Piers his way up. Ooh. Spam's not going to do enough. Most of the men are gone. The HE though. Oh. oh, it goes miles off. It can't save the round. Perfecto bounces out, barely getting out of there. And they've got the bomb down now. Okay, okay. Well, Heroic back into some winning ways here. That streak of six finally comes to a close. Kadian coming and trying to gun for it. Simple, trying to bait switch. What is going on? There's nade damage and it works. It's actually the master bait as he does go down to his own own molly. molly? What did he die to there? I did he throw him? Saying must have been a molly. It can't be full damage. Uh, it's molly. Did he nade himself? Nade himself? He could have naded himself. We'll, we'll work that one out because right now Electronics just eating dirt as well. NPL and Bit, it's the young guns on A. Which may be irrelevant. Look at them. They're investigating CT Sport. And that Molly does trap NPL. He can't go anywhere. Bit has no info. And they're running and gunning it. The last time they did this... Or, oh, okay. Are they triple bluffing? What's going on? No. And now with Stown dead, they call a clear. And Perfecto's actually in a place where he could disrupt a standard plant. Do they plant by Coffins? Oh, they get the info. Gabby's oh. isolated from this play completely. All three are going to retake through Banana here. There's no util left on the heroic side of the server. There are kits available for Na'Vi and flashes for Bit to set his teammates up on the retake. It's quite a great smoke, actually, considering they're doing this banana retake. Yabby's gone, got to steal a flashbang. Weren't ready for that. Perfecto's still turned by virtue of the angle. Here comes Bit's second flash. Oh, oh, good damage from Tessus. Still a two on two. This can go either way. Oh, oh. Perfecto straight through the coffins and puts Tessus in one. Just needs to get him off the bomb. If he can just stop that defuse, and he's oh! done so. Perfecto nails it. Navi superstar clutches up, and that was unfavorable throughout. What, what happened Whoa. to Simple? I want to go back and investigate here. Oh, I love okay. it, Mola. Killing it, killing the game. What happened to Simple here? So there's a Molly behind him. Is that, he released to HE? So he's dropped the HE. I think that's oh. just on the. Oh. Oh. Oh, dearie oh, me. Don't laugh. <laughs> don't laugh at the goat. Come on now. No, it's just. I, what was, first of all, <laughs> what was going on at half wall? On their own decision. Where they want to play every round from. And it's his own intuition. Oh. Electronic beheaded. And simple. Set up oh. for nothing as he does tag up Cadian, but he hits the headshot. The Dane bests him. And Stown single handedly has cleared out B. But he is going to have to. He's been spotted out. Here comes Jabby. And down goes the rifle. And PL could do, well, has to do a lot. And that's a good start. He gets the first tag out, but he's still got to convert them into frags. They know where Bit is. NPL, he's bobbing, he's weaving, he's spamming, but it's nowhere near enough. They're crumbling to dust. Yeah, it's perfecto and simple. There's no reason not to give it a good shake of the stick. So you might want to wait for simple. If I, if I was perfecto, I'd like to see if that man can make any space. The bomb's not planted. The clock will be extended when that bomb goes down. Now is a perfect time to throw that lurky boy smoke. You can perhaps creep around it, through it. Flash to try and draw attention, but there is still that graveyard player. Simple hoping Shush has one inquisitive release of the crouch key. Destined for seven. Simple still with that AWP on his back. Perfecto's hit one now. Simple comes into the mix. It's another headshot. There's a world, but it's not this one. Eight to seven on the half, a competitive one, and still up for debate. Do we need three? Yeah, shush. We'll have an opportunity. There's the molly. And they're coming, gunning, and it's only one from Stown. The molly's perfect. It's NPL that burns him out, and already options limited. Electronics got a lot of restraint on that, not going for the fight. Especially on the reload. Tessus checks him. Oh! Ouch. Tessus has made a round out of this one. Simple, quick to try and change the dialogue back and does actually hit Jabby with some heavy flak. Tessa's low as well. Shouldn't be any way back in with these USPs. But have to give it over. Yeah. May as well save the Kevlar on Jabby here. It was with that smoke. But for Tessa, he should hang around and try and get a kill. Already with one to the name. He's not saving Kevlar. This is just about damage here if Yabby can... Uh, sorry, if Tessa's can find it. Looks like they want to try and exit towards the long side of things here. So Tessa's here in these steps. Pivots back in time. Takes a couple of pot shots. And this is absolutely everything. Bit will take him at range. And that is going to be Na'Vi with all four of those pistolas that I was talking about. So they're up to nine. And a tidy one there. The molly, it was actually electronic. Dropped it across to M. There. Yeah. Three SMGs down mid. Um, perfecto. He's going to get a rude shock as he's already lost simple. 
fist to desk, perhaps, says NPL. Oh! Loses out to Yabi. A stunning headshot with the scavenged AK-47. Now they got the man advantage, and those da that damage has been done. Look at Electronic. Look at Perfecto. This round already just smells like a second, second round conversion. They still have Util here. They don't know that the side's clear right now, but if they can hurry the hell up, then this flank from Tessis and down is not so worrying. They are taking their time. Electronic out first. They have very low on HP, all of them. We didn't clear Boiler. That could be a very well-timed flank here. Okay, Perfecto could be in trouble. That's the bomb moving across. He can hear all of this, but is he aware of the balcony position? Does he choose to take that flank first? Down surely with the MP9 wants to get that info before the AKs can close. There is no kit, so they do need to make haste. Yeah. Slowly pushing up now as well. The timing's oh. perfect. He peers out. Tessus turned. He's tackled. Oh. Down. Hold the on. fast flick on the MP9. Battles back. Now it's a two versus one. Electronic having some fun. The SMG madman back on the box. He's seen it. Oh. He it and he hits it. Sheesh! <laughs> no, seriously, like that felt like it was heroics round to lose. How did it fall apart like that? I, I can't believe that exchange over in apartments, right? So Bit just runs back in that position, not expecting anybody to be there. So the kill, of course, goes against him. But Electronic, you were talking about it on the couch before we got into this map of play. He's been having a field day. Now, look, this is going to be his 13th frag, the final we're about to see up and over this smoke. And that was actually a CT smoke that was lobbed out as they were trying to retake from top mid. So used it against them there. Util heard B and information gained. Kadian will take the frag. And M4 revealed, so now they start their commitment. And shush. Okay, one and a half. Trying to be the hero. Electronic jumps through. A double from Stown on the M4. All of that risk, but they reap all of that reward. Heroic, they put the game on the line, Chad. A lot of scrutiny right now, but we'll be able to retain at least one AK. But this back and forth affair is going to continue here. Simple's in the corner, he's got a dead to right, but Simple strafes out, it's MPL, it goes wide, Simple will convert. And that bomb's on its way in. Look at this one way, just a little bit of vision, trying to jump in, catch him by surprise, both of them jump into the jaw of Shush. Now only one from Kadian as they look to convert with the plant. Bit saved AK, two kills. That right there is huge. He holds it, he grabs two, and now he puts Rook in a situation where they're going to have to go fishing here. Hmm, hmm. But now it's worked, and now the fish has... I'm going to leave this analogy alone, because they're coming in. And another great headshot, Heroic. Put it onto the one-on-one. -on -one. Bit, though, with that AK, can actually close. Finish. Oh. What he started! It's a quad out of Bit. They needed him to step up, but he was absent on map one. Now he makes his intent known. Okay, next round they will have what should resemble a very tidy-looking buy with the 2,900 loss bonus coming through. But at that point, you're five rounds down. And Navi are really feeling themselves here as we get a bit of a Kirby type situation right here. But MPL does recover, grabs three. Can he make it the fourth? The clock finally finishes off Cadian and the crowd like that one. <laughs> Simple cheeky business on the cusp of the smokes. Down's going to find him. Good awareness. Fully switched on, yeah, but there is an immediate punishment. Nice from Bit. Now it's Electronic's turn to be caught unawares. Can Bit be the redeemer? Well, the next fight is Perfecto, and if he wants to try his luck over towards B here. So Tensus is with a smoke. You can see him going to deploy it now, and this is very early within the round. We still have a minute on the clock. It's just that this mid-round is already underway. So many frags have come through, and Perfecto a bit lying banana here. Seems likely Perfecto is going to be aware of likelihood that Tensus is alone here. Cadian was waiting for the Q. He will rotate up on the death of the defender. It's a two on two, but that bomb's gone down. Insignificant damage. Where's the kit? Absent. It's oh, on coffins. Right there. Okay. Perfectly placed. Molly in a flash. Cadian going to try and clear. Well, is he ready for this angle? Perfecto. Pulling his weight and then some. Can Shush come up clutch? The incendiary redundant. They could even double swing on this. I mean, Shush to peek into them or save the orb. His options limited. A nice shot, but no time. No time at all. And no time like the present to get out of there. Save that AWP. A nice shot just to maintain it. But that number grows for Na'Vi. 
This, he's asking to be flashed. He's asking to go down. Oh, the drive walk from Perfect. Oh! oh, gets the no scope. Maybe there's more to be said about this one. The site's open. NPL with some initiative. We'll get that smoke down. Doesn't want to lose the bomb. We'll wait for a bit to clear out the pit, but this is hard now. They should go for this with two MP9s. You don't want to save these. Uh, actually, I don't know. This is a terrible situation <laughs> to be in for Heroic. I don't envy them at all. Not envy a gun in for a 16 8. That's exactly how it seems to be going down. Tessus walks into the crosshairs. It's too simple for him. And Yabi, yeah, perhaps he's got a chance onto simple looking the wrong way. No, absolutely not. Triple from Simple. It looks like Na'Vi are securing themselves a spot if one more round's time. Molotov out. Simple and NPL again battling for control of brackets, but it's bit that hits the head of Stown. There's only three men standing. Yabi blind, dazed and confused. Shush on a balcony. Abuses one. But you are not in a good spot. Kadian, the only man left. Can the IGL really do anything here? The brains of the operation. Can he brawl right now? Sees one in pit, but it's not enough. 16 to 8, they lock it down. Na'Vi have done it as heroic fall. Damn, beautiful stuff. They've started all the way at the start of the playoffs. Na'Vi.